Jump, green flag is out. Sammy Smith coming with them. What does Sammy Smith have here on this final two lap dash to the finish? They stay in the dry portion of the racetrack as they go down the back stretch, watching a little further back in the field as Gutierrez is going to end up with a nice finish out of this. Picks up another spot, coming to the white flag, one to go. White flag is up for Taylor Gray. He flashes across the start finish line. He's got two car lengths in hand over Sammy Smith, who's feeling some heat there for Max Gutierrez down in turns one and two. Sammy Smith going to have one more shot at Taylor Gray down here in turns three and four. Can he get to him? Sammy Smith making a move. He's got the bumper to him. What's going to happen here off a of turn four? Three wide for the win. Give it to Max Gutierrez. Gutierrez steals the win at the stripe. Unbelievable finish. Max Gutierrez picking up the win here at New Smyrna Speedway. It cost him a little ground in that battle for that second position as we come to couple of laps to go here at Five Flags Speedway. And Taylor Gray reel in Mason Diaz. You still see those sparks off the nose of that 74. Caru looks like Taylor got way up out of the groove down there in turns one and two. That may cost him and his hopes to track down Mason Diaz in a battle for that second position. There you see Mason coming across as we get the white flag this time around. Final lap here at Five Flags Speedway. There you see Sammy Smith work his way down the backstretch into turns three and four. And looking at the checkered flag. This time around, pick it up career win number one. Sammy Smith going to victory lane here at Five Flags Speedway. Coming to four to go this time around. We saw Sammy get the black flag. On the second lap here tonight, he beat the pole sitter, Mason Mingus, to the initial green flag. Had to come down pit road, make a pass-through penalty. Worked his way back onto the lead lap. Worked his way from the tail end of the field after the first break tonight. Worked his way from the tail end of the field back to the lead in less than 25 laps, and he stayed there every lap since. Here you see Mason Diaz holding on to that second position. Mason Mingus now in third, our general tire pull award winner earlier this evening. Here we see two to go this time around for Sammy Smith. Connor Jones in the 21 car. A very impressive Arkham and Art Series East debut. As we keep an eye on Sammy Smith working off a of turn four, looking at the white flag one more time around for Sammy Smith in that number 18 car for Joe Gibbs Racing. Working his way down the back stretch, two seconds in hand over Mason Diaz. Two corners to go as he looks to go back to back here in the Arca Menard Series East. Sammy Smith going to pick up the checkered flag. He's going to go to victory lane here in Nashville. As we come to the two to go signal this time around, two miles of racing. Yet to go for Ty Gibbs. Josh Berry, one second behind, in second. Going to be a big weekend for Josh Berry. Running the NASCAR Xfinity Series race for Junior Motorsports, making his Cup Series debut for Spire Motorsports on Sunday. Substituting for Justin Haley. But right now, it's all Ty Gibbs. White flag here at the stripe. One more circuit. Around the monster mile for Ty Gibbs. He's cleanly through turns one and two. Down the back stretch. Half a lap for Ty Gibbs. Fastest in practice. Started from the general tire pole. He's led all 125 laps. Looking at the checkered flag. Ty Gibbs going to go to victory lane here at Dover. Two to go this time around. Two laps to go for Sammy Smith as he hunts career win number three. Started back in the sixth position. Took him three quarters of the race to get his way back up to the front. But once he's been there, it's been all Sammy Smith. Jimmy Walker waving the white flag last time around. The four-tenths mile here at Southern National Motorsports Park for Sammy Smith. Clean and green off into turns three and four. Looking at the checkered flag this time around, Sammy Smith picking up the win here at Southern National. Going at Berlin though, Ty made up about a second and a half a lap it seemed like at that short track in Michigan one weekend ago.
Gibbs over Die. Taylor Gray, Corey Heim, and Nick Sanchez. Last lap of this race, white flag had been displayed. And this Joe Gibbs racing team with Mark McFarland has been phenomenal. They have dominated this race for the second year in a row. Ty Gibbs will be able to win. Back to back he goes here in the Hawkeye State. The first driver to win multiple events in ARCA at Iowa Speedway. Hanging on now, trying to get everything they can out of it, Bob. And really, as we saw in the first 50 lap run, at the end of that run, it was just kind of a hang on situation. We saw Sam making some bold moves here. Now he's just gonna have to hang on with Daniel Dye. He's replaced with a few LGMS in the, in the ARCA Menard Series platform. Chasing him down for that final spot on the podium. Who's gonna get second? Who's gonna get third on this last lap? <laughs> Mayer pinches him off just a little bit, coming off a two, exactly what he should be doing. Let's see what Daniel Dye can do down in the corner. Meanwhile, on the top part of our screen, we see Ty Gibbs. Gibbs, so dominant here today. And for the third time this year, Ty Gibbs will lead every single lap and route to another victory in the Arkham and Art Series. And this one comes at the Milwaukee Mile. Yeah, check out this end car. And, and some of this is dirty air being behind that car, but right in the center of the corner here, you want to be progressively rolling to the throttle wide open. And he just can't get that done right now. Ty Gibbs, white flag is out, one lap to go. The season has certainly belonged to Ty Gibbs. I think tonight has too, Jamie. Unbelievable what he's been able to do, the number of laps led. Checker flag is in the air, Ty Gibbs wins at Bristol, his 10th win on the season.